and all the events here over the past 24 hours for the Oilers, the Canucks, the game last night, and everything involved in a 4-2 win for the Oilers. I feel like something pretty big has been missed here so far from everything I'm reading on social media this morning and everything I read on social media last night, and I want to make mention of it because I don't think we've done the video as of yet this season, and I want to, even if I have, double back and retouch up on it because our man Zach Hyman is having the best season of his career. Friends, this is Dolany TV. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're tuning into this video, thank you for being aboard. Uh, if you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you're new, these are what I call the housekeeping notes, by the way. Trying to get through these a little quicker nowadays. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button here on Dolany TV. We talk Oilers all day, every day. And if you dig deep enough, there's a whole ton of other fun content that you can find here on Dolany TV from over the span of the past 10 years. All right, Zach Hyman, my friends. Well, let me tell you, he is having a career best season. What do I mean by that? He's got 56 points this season. And guess what that means in terms of his career average over the past few years, starting all the way back in 15-16 with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has never had a season above 54 points. That season was last year when he had 54 points in his first year in Edmonton. And now all of a sudden in 47 games following a four-point night last night, he ends up with 56 points on the season, 24 goals, 32 assists, and a man who has absolutely bonafide himself on the top line with Connor McDavid and whoever the heck else is playing up there. But the beauty of Zach Hyman, and this is the absolute beauty of it, is he is a guy that it doesn't matter where he plays, who he's playing with, and how the team is playing at the current moment. Zach Hyman is always driving the play in some kind of positive manner. And this has been probably the best story of the year. I know Nugent Hopkins, I think, takes the cake for any long-term Oilers fan. But obviously, when you look at the contract Hyman was signed to, kind of the leeriness some Oilers fans had, the Leafs fans laughing at us about it. And now to see the uh, the kind of um, transformation he's made here in Edmonton, right, is he's gone from playing with a very good team in Toronto. I mean, if this is the player he's capable of being here, why was he never deployed as such in Toronto? Not that uh, that really doesn't show up because he was deployed for 19 minutes a night most nights the last two seasons in Toronto and only 1930 and now 2040 here in Edmonton so far in the past two seasons. But Right, is Leafs fans, I think, just laughing at us to laugh at us because that's how the rivalry works between us on social media. I know it's not really a, a team rivalry, it's more of a fan rivalry, but one of those things now where this Zach Hyman contract, and I mean, you know, I, I was hard on Holland there in the video a few days ago. This is one of the best things he's done, and it just continues to prove to be one of the best things he's done. Because now, right, Zach Hyman, 47 games into the season with 24 goals, 32 assists, and 56 points. And you want to know, kind of like, that would mean nothing if the Oilers were ho-hum and not really doing much. But in terms of Zach Hyman, over the past several games, you look at going from that San Jose game, I could go take a look back at Anaheim and see what he did there. But I think that's a little irrelevant to kind of what the argument is here. San Jose, he had one assist in the win. And then all of a sudden against Vegas, he picks up two assists. Against Seattle, a much needed victory. He gets three. Against Tampa Bay, he comes up with two goals. The only stretch of which out of these five games, he's had two goals. And then last night against Vancouver, when we needed a hero, Zach Hyman shows up and gets that job done with a goal and three assists and four points on the night to seal a 4-2 victory. So that is in itself just one of those fantastic things for the Oilers to see a guy like Zach Hyman who did have big expectations when he signed, did have a lot to live up to, and has lived up to everything that and that more, right? As Zach Hyman got that contract based on being about a, I would want to say about a 50-point score in the last few seasons in Toronto, obviously 1920. Uh, the season was cut short, but I imagine if he would have played all 70, he would have probably gotten towards that 50 mark. And then, of course, in 2021, um, 43 games, 33 points, so probably about that 50-point mark. And then... <laughs> 
he comes up in Edmonton with 54 points in 76 games. And you know how rare it is to see somebody in Edmonton score 27 goals or more, right? Patrick Maroon's one of the guys that's done it. Like, a guy that's not Connor McDavid or Leon Draisaitl leading the scoring department, that was a big thing from Zach Hyman last year and now this year to follow it up with almost half a goal per game. In fact, more right now, and we'll see what he does uh, on, I believe, Wednesday. But as it sits right now for Zach Hyman, 56 points, 47 games played. The guy is an even strength, power play goal specialist, right? Even split, 12 and 12. He plays shorthanded. He has... Tons of opportunity to get things done. And it's not like he's necessarily ever shooting a ton of great shooting percentages, right? I think his career high is 19.8 and 19.20. But the last two seasons in Edmonton have not cracked above 13%. And that's kind of where he's been the rest of his career on average, if you average it out. So for Zach Hyman, yes, he's shooting better than, I guess, his years in Toronto. But in his two years in Edmonton, shooting 12.8%, right? We're all talking about folk hero Clem Costin here and how much his goal scoring impacts things. But when Zach Hyman is just out there creating chance after chance, and you think, I don't know if the uh, called back goals necessarily dictate a shot on goal or not, but you think about that as well. He's had, what, about six of those, it feels like, this season. So for him, another one last night, and you think what that could do to improve his figures here this season while all of a sudden you're talking about 60 points Zach Hyman before the 50 game mark that's pretty incredible that's not the case we don't worry about that but it is just one of those things to talk about throughout um, the course of a season in terms of Zach Hyman as well he's a guy that just drives possession I mean for the past four years he has been a positive Corsi 4 player and continues that heavily here in Edmonton with 53.4 last year and 57.2 in terms of what are we talking about shots blocks and misses for and against so you're talking about a guy who generates way more opportunities on net than he allows defensively and that's a pretty big thing when you play for who the Edmonton Oilers yeah that's uh yeah that's something we got to talk about uh for another day for sure but as Zach Hyman gets going here he's on uh 0.68 assists per game right now. That's not a bad rate at all. And a 1.19 points per game metric so far. And this is to add to what was a magical playoff run for Zach Hyman. I mean, over the course of his career, the years in Toronto, he never was a point per game player in the playoffs and then all of a sudden steps in in Edmonton. We talk often about the goals scored by Evander Kane in the playoffs last year, but we aren't talking about the 11 goals that Zach Hyman scored for us last year. So now, right, in terms of overall impact, what are you getting at, Tyson, is you look at those... uh, you look at those past five games, right? As I can talk up, I just gave you the basis line of every piece of argument material you would need to talk about how great Zach Hyman is. But you look at the basis line of the past five games. San Jose, Vegas, Seattle, Tampa, Vancouver. Every single game in which the Oilers played, right, as the win streak continues, it gets more and more pressure to keep on winning. And as you look at that, every single game of these past five out of six, Zach Hyman has gone from uh, just a kind of guy that contributed to a guy that steps up, to a guy that delivers, to the guy that brings it home, to the guy that is the entire offense. And that's a pretty magical five-game stretch here in the middle of the season. And the beauty of that is that nets Zach Hyman a career-best 56 points and counting in the NHL with our Edmonton Oilers. Folks, I'm Tyson. This is Stall Any TV. Thank you so much for chatting today. Hey, I appreciate it. I will talk to you later.